Hello, today's devotional can be found in Matthew chapter 5, verse 8. Blessed are the pure in heart. Okay, so virtue makes someone pure in heart. Wanting to hold on to it with your heart and mind, even if the world works against you and terrible things happen, that's virtue. Holding on to the purity in your heart and believing in it, even when the world works against you. Pure in heart people aren't perfect, but they want to be, they believe they can be, and they believe in themselves as children of God, and they believe in Christ's ability to save them from themselves, and they believe in God's ability, and, the, and whatever blessings he gives them. We cannot be afraid to be pure in heart, and it's quite easy to be pure in heart. We just have to believe, we have to start out with the belief that we can be. We really cannot expect to even feel remotely like the pure in heart. If we are not willing to put effort into it, because it does take some effort on our part. It does take embracing the atonement. It does take trusting the Lord. And it does take wanting to be pure in heart and wanting to understand that we won't get there tomorrow, that, but that we will get there. <clears throat> Life is so very short. But you know, we can make the most of the time that we have by striving to be the best we can be and getting rid of those things that would only detract from being our best selves. It may mean breaking friendships. It may mean letting go of habits, whatever. Do it. You'll be such a better person for it. You don't need things that drag you down from being the person you are meant to become. People may think you're a terrible person just because of the way you live your life. Or they may lash out at you, or they may tell you to do things you wouldn't otherwise do, but don't listen to them. You are valuable to Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ. And they will place people in your path who will treat you as valuable. You just have to trust them and let them help you. It's your choice. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.